everybody, I'm back in Izu again. I uh, took almost five hours to get here today. Uh, started out, it says it's gonna take three hours and 10 minutes or something, but it ended up taking five hours. There was uh, an area on, I can't remember, it's called 135, where there's a bunch of tunnels and they're redoing the roof in the tunnel. And uh, the um, they have it all choked down to one lane. That wasn't the problem. The problem was about, maybe 30 cars, 40 cars ahead of me, there was a, a, a one guy rear-ended another guy, fender bender, really, and traffic just stopped. And they have all these cones and bars and lights and guardsmen set up, so you can't, even though the construction isn't being done for two kilometers ahead, they have the, the one lane blocked off. And so that's it, they had a fender bender and the guys stopped there and the two guys got out of their cars and they're just standing around and People were yelling. I mean, I should have taken some video of it. I was just, I couldn't believe it. Um, really, it was amazing. And then, like, it took almost half an hour. And finally, the cops show up. Or not the, I don't know what you call the highway cops. Like, the, they're in the yellow trucks, not like policemen. They show up, and, they, and they're telling the guardman guys, move the cones so people can get around the cars. And so they finally did that. Maybe it wasn't happening. Maybe it was 20 minutes. And, and then so we got around the cars and when I went by and looked at them, the, even the car behind that hit the car in front, there wasn't like, there wasn't like uh, um, coolant all over the ground or anything. So like both the cars were drivable. Neither one of the airbags went off. Like, move your car. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and, and oh, it was just like a massive traffic jam. And anyways, that took time. And then also just that construction along that road, I mean, I don't know. And then today, I don't know why. Today, I think tomorrow, today's Tuesday. I think tomorrow's the Emperor's birthday or something, but holy crap, the traffic down here along the, once you get off the expressway, along the, the like the regular road along by the ocean was just bumper to bumper. Couldn't believe it. It was just a couple spots there. I think, I think it was, uh, I can't remember how far, I think it's 140 kilometers or something. And it took almost five hours. My average speed was like, 23 kilometers an hour that's including the hour and a half or two hours or whatever i was on the expressway doing 85 90 kilometers an hour so it was just like there was anyways whatever <sighs> it's a typical thing oh sorry about juggling you around like that um anyways i'm back down here for another another four days anyways um i got the two doors to change and uh, i got a little bit of room to do a little bit of work to do in the laundry room and then I got a bunch of other odds and sods to do around here. Plus, I also got to clean up because, I mean, you know, construction zone. And I also got to figure out what I'm going to do with all the garbage because I have quite a bit of construction garbage. Um, hopefully, my lovely wife is researching a uh, place for me to dump it down here locally rather than take it all the way back to Tokyo. But uh, anyways, uh, I got to get to work. It's kind of late in the day. It's almost 3 o'clock, I think. And uh, I just got here. So now I got to unload my truck and all the rest of that fun stuff. Anyways, everybody, take care. Thanks for following along and uh, let's get to work. Well, I didn't quite get it done. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, either I can't count or I've lost one of these uh, elbows for the black pipe because I need to go down here. Um, my plan changed slightly. I was going to go high above the switch and down into the washing machine drain, but it's just, I, I can't, I don't have the space up here. So 
I changed it to low down like this, so I'm missing, I don't know why, but I'm missing, this is, this is the corner for here. That'll go down like that. This is an outside corner, I need an inside corner. And they don't sell them here at the local hardware store, unfortunately, which really sucks, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, um, but I mean, that's the basic idea. So the drain pipe goes into here, and this, this is the black water pipe that I'm using as a drain. And uh, we use this often on the air conditioners as drains too. And then this will turn here 90 and go down there. And at the very bottom there, I'll put in a little piece of flexible hose and it'll just drain onto this pan, which drains in, which drains into this drain here. So that'll take care of the water from the dryer. And I think it'll look much nicer, but I, I do need to get that one piece. Kind of silly, I forgot to buy it. Uh, this is stuff that, that we, we use here in Japan when you have an older building and the, uh, like the buildings that were built in the 70s, all the water pipes were like just basically galvanized iron pipes. And of course, eventually they get all sedimented up and calcified and you can't use them. And they're all like inside the actual concrete walls. So they can't replace them. So what they do is they replace them on the outside of the wall. On the inside of an apartment, you'll see this stuff running, you know, from uh, they drill holes to the wall and put in new water pipes. And, and this is what they cover it up with. So it doesn't, it's not just a bare water pipes in there they put this little cover on it so that would be perfect for this I put this backer board on here to cover up that ugly stand I think that looks nice and then it's gonna have like that and go down there and uh, it's independent of this shelf the shelf could be moved if you wanted to so uh, yeah anyways uh, I gotta hit the hardware store and get one more elbow always with plumbing you always gotta hit the hardware store at least once uh, I mean at least once more than you think you do I didn't bring my big bag of stuff because I, I thought I'd bought everything that I needed, but um, I can't count, I guess. I needed one, two, three, four elbows, not three. So, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Bit of a short video, I guess, but uh, just kind of showing you what I'm doing for work as I work here. and. The location I have to cut stuff like this, or when I'm doing um, modifying that door, it's like it's in front of the. Uh, it's a beautiful deck o over in front of the, uh, I guess the dining room in the house. Um, nice view, but it's kind of exposed, and when it's windy or rainy or whatever, it kind of. But anyways, it's like one of the only flat spots because this place is on a hill. It's kind of a split level, I guess you'd say, and uh, there's no real flat spots outside anywhere except for that. So that's where I'm using to cut my boards and stuff so anyways everybody take care thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow